Hello, 大家好 I'm Yulia. I'm from Russia, and I'm an English teacher in China. And today is my first worldwide international interview. Sure. I'm Yulia. I'm from Russia, as I mentioned already, and I've been working in China for over six years now as an English teacher. And I'm currently working here in Zhengzhou as a kindergarten English teacher. Because China chose me. Actually, I've been sending a lot of CVs to South Korea, to Thailand, Cambodia and so on and I just got a job offer from China and honestly speaking when I first came here I thought like even before coming here actually I thought that okay half a year fine and then I'm gonna go somewhere else but I fall in love with China so <laughs> okay I'm on work visa obviously and this is the only legal way to work in China no matter where you're from so please do not believe anybody who try to prove you the opposite or try to convince you that you can come here on business visa or on tourist visa you can come here but you cannot work here legally yeah so we have the working visa for non-natives too but it actually depends because there are so many provinces with different policies but basically in the central China and closer to north there is no problem with it like non-native speakers can get working visa if they're qualified for this well first of all you need to graduate university you need to get the bachelor degree or above then you need to collect a bunch of documents and send it to the company who hires you, to your school, to your agency, whatever it is. And please do not believe people who are going to tell you, oh, come here, come here, and then we're going to do all your documents. No. Do your documents first, get your visa first, then come here. So as I said before, you need your bachelor degree, you need non-criminal record, you need the invitation letter from your company, you need all the documents verified and notarized, and then you can send all your documents to your hiring company, and they apply for the work permit, and then they send you all the documents back, you go to your embassy, apply for visa, and with the visa stamp, you come here and work happily ever after. Well, it depends on the province, as I said before, and it also depends on their qualification. I mean, if they have all the documents, and they holding bachelor degree or above, they should have English major. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, which means that you are qualified for the job you apply for. Of course, if you're holding like, I don't know, you're an engineer, you cannot be an English teacher, but it's obvious mm, all so, around the world. <laughs> yeah, so actually the majors is limited. Yeah, of course, but you know, like, um, I believe that it's pretty strange for PE teacher to teach English, which is possible here also, actually. You know, like, this is a tricky thing, like, when you apply for the position, be sure you're applying for the position you are qualified for. If you're a PE teacher, do not apply for being an English teacher because it's not right to give the knowledge you do not have to people who cannot judge you yet. Yeah, of course, like we started to talk about like teaching positions because I'm a teacher. I'm working here as an English teacher, but you can apply for the other jobs. Like if you want to be a teacher, uh, you don't have to teach English. You can be an art teacher or PE teacher or subject teacher, like any subject teacher. Again, if you're qualified for this and there are a lot of different um, Positions like as far as I know currently our agency is hiring for some 
sales managers, right? Like uh, for some streaming industry, like online sales and so on.